This is a little Buddha statue, There's some kind of ceremony going on here. Not really sure, but they're laying flowers at the at this site. A lot of pictures being taken. Philippine and Japanese flags there. The back side of the movie theater must have sucked to be in there, huh? Oh, come on, will you focus already? I think my camera's got heat problems. These are the movie theater on Corregidor Island. Yeah, he said 400 people could fit in this crazy thing. Set of stairs. Someone looking for trouble. <laughs> Make sure you can jump if it cracks. <laughs> Bombed out. Bullet holes. This is the mile long barracks. Talk about cool. These are topside barracks. Mile long. Top side barracks. Quarter of a mile long. No, third of a mile long. Three stories. And that's where you get the mile long barracks from that. It's probably one of these enter at your own risk, but I'm not going to go in there. I don't think I'm going to go in there. We've got There's a lot here. Uh, here, uh, like I said in the other one, it is uh, Bethlehem Steel, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and Japanese concrete that they built. I think that it was 1932 that this was commissioned, and of course, nine years later, the dirty bastards bombed us. Um, really neat, though. I'm probably going to get myself into a bit of trouble, but I'm not going to go in there. That's fine. That's fine. It's huge. I mean, unless you're in it, you won't know uh, what it actually feels like. So, I'm going to walk over here. There's some guns and stuff. Some, oh, what do you call it? Japanese uh, anti aircraft. And there's pack howitzers, things like that. So, let me check that out shortly. Yep. Got some, uh, what are these? These are thousand pound shells, I think. They're heavy. Damn heavy. Thousand pound shells, you know. That's a lot. Now, this is the uh, ticket counter to the movie theater. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But as you can see, the bullet holes and the pock marks from small arms and larger anti aircraft or small artillery explosions and just some they beat the shit out of it <laughs> that's about all I can say I really wanted to see Battery Gary but I'm not going to be able to now here it is, these are the Japanese guns that were here on Corregidor 
um, anti-aircraft. They're pretty beat up. I'm just sitting here. These are what was dropped by the paratroopers. These are pack howitzers. Wouldn't mind having one of these at home. Take care of some of my deer problem. Um, yeah. I think I took the the breech lock is gone, but you can see up through there. You may be able to see some of the uh, some of the riflings and stuff that are there. No, that's there. You drop the shell in and then whoosh, throw that forward and ba boom. Right. Some of these small machine guns. Japanese always had these. These are air cooled weapons. Well, it's too bad they're not functional, I'll tell you. But I have these fins on them. And I'm gonna have sunburn like there's no friggin' tomorrow because my legs are like chicken legs. Some of the siding there. I don't know what these leaf springs are for. These are probably, or not leaf springs, coil springs. These are probably for the, the big guns like Battery Gary and some of the others. Um, I don't know, maybe these were thrown into the ocean. By the looks of them, they're pretty beat. I mean, really beat. But you can still see what they were. This is neat. This is junk. There's an old cannon. That's a small cannon. I don't know what that is. They said they were Japanese. These were all Japanese except for the uh, pack howitzer. But this here, I believe, is was dropped by an airplane. Not entirely sure. But this here could be... Uh, telltale sign that it was dropped by an airplane or they welded those on there to move them I don't know anyway I gotta go find the rest of my tour group and get into that museum somehow